are revamped in an effort to achieve the industrialization agenda. Mr. Mlenga says President Hagainde Hichilema has a clear blueprint on how he wants to revamp the numerous industries the country has, has hence the need for well-meaning Zambians to give the head of state support. He adds his ministry will also ensure that all small-scale businesses are supported under the new donor administration. He was speaking when he featured on Thursday's edition of the special interview. Structuring and reprofiling of the debt that Zambia has. We are in talks. And other than that, we are giving hope to industries to produce more and export more. I'm coming to Revenue the will come into the questions uh, regarding... I just need to answer on the money how... that you talked about. Yes. How we're going to earn it. Yeah. We've given concessions mm. to industries so that they can produce more. Right. And when they produce more, they will export more. Right. When they export more, Forex will come in the country. When Forex comes in the country, we have money. And we'll spend it to the people prudently. So we are, we are going to earn money. Because we've got ideas and plans that will generate wealth for the people of Zambia. How much, Honorable Minister, would, do you intend under the new Don administration um, in engaging, you know, like your critics, for example? You know, because uh, you remember that uh, there are people out there with, you know, knowledge or they've got, that have got ideas on how this country can best, you know, uh, uh, govern. You know, for example, Sean Tembo, who just released uh, his uh, mm. alternative budget today as well, and according to his budget, he's saying uh, it's something that can be financed within or locally, unlike borrowing. Because remember, even when you were in the opposition, you were among the people that uh, went on rampage mm -hmm. and decampaigned mm -hmm. or criticized the pedotic front against the culture of, of borrowing. borrowing. Oh, yes. It was you a know, normal culture. But again, two months or three months down the line in your office, you began borrowing. I'll tell you something. We can't do it on our own. Let me tell you something. And we are on record. Mm. We talked about careless borrowing, increasing the debt ceiling mm. for pocket use. Right. The more this country borrowed, the more it sank into debt and into poverty. You need to borrow for investment. It's always what we talked about. Right. We talked about this and we are on record. Don't borrow for personal use. Our people today, you and I, the taxpayers, we are in debt for money that we don't even know how it was spent on. The projects that they had to go into infrastructure development, we've got no problem with infrastructure development. It is good. We need it. But we always talked, prioritize sectors of infrastructure. Start repaying the debt themselves. Roads are good, but take them to industrial park. Ministry of Youth, Sports and Arts Permanent Secretary Dr. John Piri has challenged the youths in the country to come up with innovative projects that will help develop the country. Dr. Piri says his ministry under the New Dawn administration has shown willingness to supportive creative minds. He adds President Hagainde Hichilema has provided clarity in his speech of wanting to support 